Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray Dolan coming to you live from Granard at the Butter Market. Uh, it's just after starting here, and uh, we've got been uh, we've been invited actually down to the Butter Market by our good friend uh, Bartle Darcy and Deirdre from Knights in Conquest, and uh, as well as that, an organizer of the market as well is here. Um, where is she, Helen? Helen is just after arriving. So there we are, folks. We're going to go in and have a look. We have our good friends Bartle and Deirdre here dressed in costume. Where are they gone? Oh, there they are. Absolutely are. super. Great to have you on, on the television, lads. Hello, everybody. Great to be here. Bartle, you are dressed in traditional costume. Is this what they wear on a Saturday in Granard? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, uh, absolutely, because it, it's able to defend yourself, you see. So, so you wear a chainmail coif like I'm wearing here. Yep. And you wear a padded armor thing, and we have a bow and arrow here because we're doing archery today down in Knights and Conquest with our new club, the Wolf's Head Company of Archers. Absolutely, and uh, we just hit a few arrows there a few minutes ago. And if I was there another half an hour, I probably would get to the black dot, but we're very close, we're very close. So, guys, are you going to bring us on a little bit of a tour here of the butter market here in Granard on a yeah, Saturday? Sure. Come on in. Excellent. So let's move in. As I say, folks, we're going live from the butter market, and uh, really, what it's all about is real butter. And on your left-hand side here is what is this? Pizza oven. It's a pizza oven. Oh my God! This is uh, is this a Norman pizza oven? Well, it's a, a Granard pizza oven. So, wow. Yeah, made from wattles. So yes, all handmade. Look at that stonework. And was this the on top. was this? Um, did he make the bread here this morning or what? Look at this. This is our bread man. Yeah. Hello, sir. How's Hello, it going? How are you? Oh yes, indeed. What's Hello. your name? Pierre. 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 Oh, be good. That's a very French name. Uh, you can't have mustard or that now. Absolutely. <laughs> so, is this the bread that you made this morning here that's for right. the? That's right. So that's a, a sourdough bread made with uh, wholemeal flour and I gave three days fermentation and it was baked in the wood fire oven behind you this morning. Oh really? Yeah, and uh, how did you fire up that oven? So I lit with candles and it takes me about 90 minutes to heat it up because you have to reach a certain temperature inside the oven and once I have all the flames down and all the fire all heat up I clear it, remove all the ashes and place my bread, place my dough inside the oven to make it for about an hour inside. Very good. You're from where in France? Picardie. Picardie. Yeah. And that's of France. Are you living in um I mean in County Longford since 2006 and I am in Granada for the last three years. Absolutely. I love your accent. Thank you. It's absolutely fantastic. Thank you for sharing this with us. And we're, welcome. we're we're our, our tour guide here. We're going to go back to Deirdre and thank you very much. Thank sir. you. Deirdre, yes, what else do we have at this fantastic market here? I'm going to here? introduce you to a very important lady here, Helen. Oh, Helen. Our organiser. Helen, there she is again. Hello. How do you? We'll Come meet in to me there, my dear. Helen, you're looking absolutely super here. Well, thank you so much. Oh, and so are you. Thank you. I love you too. We we'll meet in heaven. We will definitely. We'll, uh, uh, what is going on here, my dear? And how long is this market is going running? On here? This market was opened in 2017 by mm -hmm. what's that man's name, Mr. Ring. Oh, uh, right. And we got some funding from Longford County Council. It was a derelict site previous to that, a nice sort of the town. Now it's brought a bit of life up to this end of the town. I, and I, so, I love all the stonework as well. We This is all traditional. We recycled everything that's here. We had to use a few bits of new stuff, but most of it is recycled. Stonework, slates, um, cobbles, what do you call it, and all of that. So all of that is, is recycled. And was this where the mart or the, the market, the market was? Ago, yeah, years ago, the uh, country people, the farmers, small yep. farmers, and they lived off the land and they would have brought their surplus in here to sell. Um, gentlemen, uh, naturally enough, in them times they were gentlemen, from the Dublin markets would come down on the train to Ballywillan, which is over the road there, as the crow flies about two and a half mile, and they'd come across here to Granard to buy the eggs, the butter, the potatoes, cabbage, lettuce, 
everything that was needed in the markets in Moore Street and around there and they'd put them on the train and bring them back up to Dublin. Did the train come to town here then no, at that no, time? No, no, Ballawinan it came to about right. two mile away. Okay. So you'd see the horses and carts bringing all the produce out to Ballawinan and uh, bringing them up to the city and some of it would actually go to London, some of the produce. Wow. Some of the eggs would go to London and indeed some of the butter would go to London because this part here there'd be lots of um, there'd be lots of um, what do we call them? Big farms. Oh God, no, small farms. Oh, you go right away with yourself. Uh, 20 acres, 30 acres would be the biggest farm really around here. Very, very small farms. Anyway, you're a busy lady and the I'm phone a busy is ringing. Lady and you're and a you've busy got some cake. Man. And we have lots of traders here, so we're. Brilliant. Well, we're, we're just good. we're moving yeah, on here to a lady. Hello. Uh, let's Hello. get you into the camera there. And you are with Forever Living, Absolutely. Uh, a, a fantastic business. And tell me, um, how is things going for you in the Grand Old Market? It's good. It's good. This is my second week here now, so right. It's, it's lovely. And you brought Spider-Man with you as well. I brought Spider-Man, yeah, aka the boss. <laughs> uh, tell me, how did you get involved with this business? Um, I, well, I started using the products myself. I was using them for years. Right. Uh, Particularly started out was just our little lip balms. Yeah. Um, and then the girl that I used to buy of convinced me to start, and I've been at it for over a year now, loving it. Well, congratulations and uh, fair play to you. And I said, this is a great business if anyone wants to get involved to be your own business person. So thank you very much for that. No What's your name again? It's Belinda. Belinda. There's Belinda, and she has got her son on board. So where are we heading for next? These guys look great. These guys right here. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Now, children at the mark. Yes, <laughs> children at the mark. We'll go over here to the water softener guy. Okay. The water softener guy. Hello, how's it yeah. going? This is the best now. place to get the hair of the dog cured. Yeah, the hair of I the dog, absolutely. The purple one last week, Mother and I'm still dead. alive. <laughs> Hello sir, how's it going? How are you? Very, very good. We met in Collinstown Market. You must go to all the markets, sir, do you? And go to some of them, not them all. Have you been to uh, Balnakil yet? No. Or Bal no, Bal Don't even know where Balnakil is. Balnakil, Balnakil. Well, it's another one, but uh, oh, I can't. it's not coming to me. But anyway, not to worry. You go to Collinstown. Where else do you head for? Collinstown, well, these are the smaller markets. We, we do most of the agricultural shows when they come up. Right. And then we do the Ploughing Championship and the Ideal Home Exhibition. Wow. Ploughing Championship is going to take a little bit of a break this year. Do you do the Tullamore show now and again, no? Haven't been at the Tullamore yet, no. That's a no. great one to get to go to. But look, tell us a little bit about what your product is and what exactly the Kango water. It's from Japan, I think. Kangan water, yeah. It's from Japan, made under medical license in Japan. So it's a, it's a medical grade device. So you divert your tap water through the machine. That's one of the machines there. Uh, hey! And there is a few different types of machines. But anyway, what it does is it gives your water a mild electric shock, so you're drinking negative charge hydrogen rich water. Oh. Which is very, very important for the for the cells in the body. And tell us you're based in around the Midlands here, are you? I'm based in, in Longford, yeah, absolutely. And we also have the hydrate and alkaline water store in Balnalak. Ballinac on the left hand side after the big petrol station. Correct, so you yeah. pass petrol speaks one on your left if you're coming from Mullingar and it's a small actually petrol station where you don't go that you speak actually across from the small petrol station in Ballinalac. What's your phone one. number if someone wants to just ring and get some it's water? Oh it's six three five two six seven five four. And you're very welcome actually to drop into the Alkaline Water and Wellness Store and we'll put you on a ten day water trial just to try the water. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much Ray. Take we're, care. We're going to continue on, and as I said, we're promoting what's good and great about uh, this fantastic place. But I'm here with a, a gentleman who is from my town. Hi, Ray. Hello. How's it going? Good, Ray. Good great. to see you. You're keeping well. Thanks, Ray. Doing, doing what we can. Richard Anthony is the man's name, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he's involved. He's an international chef. He has actually got his own uh, menu here, and the menu actually can be delivered or... Uh, how do we get that food as well? That's one thing. So you go over to Love Food by Richard Anthony I love on food. Instagram or Facebook and you send us a DM and we'll send you our menu and we'll set you up with meal plans. We'll set you up with a night off from the cooking with our uh, heating 
heat and eat range of meals, healthy, delicious, tasty ethnic meals. Uh, we'll cook whatever you like. And then we've got food on the go with the Evolve Hemp Food Range. So it's really food with benefits, health benefits. Right? So Absolutely. And uh, fab. Who's that? That's our young knight. Oh. There's always a knight in Granite. It's our young knight. A young knight. So look, we're, we're goofing off here. So let me see. This is some of your products here. And uh, this we is... We have Irish organic hemp infused I... products. So the hemp is from Clonus. And we have Oshnok honey infused with CBD. Wow. And we have granola, which is great for breakfast. You take a tablespoon of that and add it to your, your existing cereal. Uh, one tablespoon of that on your cereal every morning to give you a, a boost. We have a beef jerky here, which is developed with local organic beef from Loch Hool, and we dry that out and we infuse it again with lysophilization CBD. It's a nice beer snack or nice snack after the gym to help with a bit of recovery, inflammation. We have some CBD coffee. Holy God, your so range has just gone so, so big since I, we saw you last. Our, we are roasted by uh, Marco Ottaviano, and with the bars that we started off with Red two years ago, this time two years ago, we were promoting just CBD protein bars. The first CBD protein bar in Ireland and in Europe. Uh, still to realize, global outlook, local business. From Mullingar, in Mullingar, that's Richard Anthony, the legend that is. And this is some of the grub. We had some of this recently, and uh, this actually does two dinners. So, uh, and it's vegetarian. And when you eat vegetarian food, you think, geez, that's not enough for me. But when you finish that food, you feel 100%. And as I said, the plumbing is super as well. Yes. So, eat in well, the... eat well and live well. <laughs> and it's accessible. And it should be like, you know, everyone now in the time, in an age where health has never been more important, uh -huh. we have to be eating foods that are functional. Cut out the processed stuff, cut out the sugars, cut out the stuff that you're buying in the supermarket that your body, it's not doing your body any good. Get back into the kitchen, get learning some basic recipes, start cooking and eating well. And that's what it's about. And share it with your family and friends. What's the phone number? Give me a phone Love number. I'll ring you. I want to ring you. Anthony. <laughs> Love food by Richard Anthony. Instagram, Facebook, 089. 4364507. Even if you don't buy it and often be a great chat. Thanks, Richard Anthony. So there you are, folks. Right, getting back, getting back, what getting back. Where, where we are. Yes, indeed, we're back I'm here. Back to a normal vegetarian. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on in Granard as well. Uh, there's a big, big uh, event, or not event, but you're going to start building the village. We are, and we're going to build it in autumn. Right, and we're breaking ground. We have a plan for Mission Good in this week. We're building a 15 acre Norman Living History Park. Right, we have um, period housing, we have a keep, we have our palisade, and we have our burgess. They're exactly historically correct for it. And we'll have living history actors there. And myself and Deirdre are here to do this and deliver this project. And we will have it done. I see you're doing fantastic work in Longford as well. And I see your pictures all over Facebook. And uh, you're doing a, a massive job to promote this area as well, including uh, Granard, because Granard is full to the brim of history. Tons of it. And you can actually feel it walking down the streets of Granard. No, absolutely. And we have a new town map now that we do in Granard, which tells the revolutionary history of Granard as well from 1798 to uh, Michael Collins and Kitty Kiernan's time here too as well and we work very closely with Longford Tourism who are great at promoting the county and we're working together uh, we go out and about and uh, we tour to different sites uh, yesterday or two days ago we were in an elderflower farm I didn't know they existed but it's, it's all happening it's a vineyard it's all happening in Granard and in Longford do, do you have just one of these outfits or is there a collection of these outfits a whole wardrobe yeah. a whole wardrobe right. Right. can it can right. anyone get this outfit? Is it easy to get? As I say, Deirdre is looking very, very... In my linen? Yeah, in her linen. And letters. And uh, she's got a few... Uh, oh, big God, oh, yes. huh? Don't mess with her, because he's, she's got the arrows, he's Long got bow. the bow. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, we're going to move on. on. Have we got someone else Nicole we want to... Here. Yep. Nicole here. Yep. Nicole. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very talented artist here, Nicole. Nicole, Nicole is there, yes. It would be nice and quiet, because the, it's all going on here. And I said, don't move an inch. There's the lady, and she's getting her uh, portrait done by the lady um, in with the glasses. Every time I look at my box now, so can, you talk, can you talk while you're um, doing the job? Okay, well, I'm going to come around to you and totally distract you all together. And as you can see from the work here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the beautiful piece of 
work that's been done on the lady here. Mike, turn, turn my camera around. There she is. Excellent. No, it's not that no, it's lady. Not it's this one. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. That was similar. <laughs> you actually, are you sisters, no? Yeah, we are. Yeah. That's how it got complicated. So, Nicole, tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, where you're from and your business and um, how do you plug yourself here? It's a great job. I'm uh, from Bangalore and I'm just decided to try drawing portraits here today. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, have you been drawing a long time yourself? Um, yes, yeah, since I was a child. Absolutely. It's a natural thing then to you, it seems. Um, but yeah, practice through the years. Have. Where did you get the Elvis Presley glasses? It's like, oh, thank you, very much. thank you very much, baby. Yeah, just from chemist. <laughs> Which chemist? <laughs> anyway, thank you very, very much, and uh, enjoy your day oh, here. You. And I uh, hope you're very, very busy. And um, she's really getting her life, I think. Thank you. <laughs> now, over to Claire and Steve here. Claire and Steve. Now, this is Claire here. Hello, Claire, how are you getting on? Thank you. Claire, you um, you're very well set up here. You have the, got the roof on. You're taking no, uh, you're taking all the precautions because yes. Irish weather is a little bit different. Oh, definitely yes. And uh, yes. as today we're lucky enough, it's it's beautiful here. But tell us yes. a little bit about uh, what you're doing here. Um, we do myself and my husband. We take photographs okay. and we make them into greeting cards, and we put them on to mounts so people can frame them. Mm -hmm. We have. Uh, mouse mats, mugs, out the front there, uh -huh. tiles, chopping boards. We have a few framed. Oh, beautiful. And yet, yeah, go on ahead. A few, a few frames of framed photographs as well. But it's say mainly we do them on the mount so people can buy their own frames and that. Brilliant. So, and uh, have you been uh, coming to the market for a long time? We have, yes. Yes. Yeah, are you based we, around this area? We're based at Carbon, just across the border. Okay then. About, about 20 minutes away and that's about it, so yeah. Brilliant, yeah. you have a collection of an accent there. Where have you been? Oh gosh, all over. <laughs> are you from we, Ireland? Oh yes yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm originally from Dublin. Right. My parents are from Calvin and Meath. Yeah. And I lived in... England for a few years as well. So, yeah. Brilliant. Well, this is absolutely fantastic, and we wish you the very, very best today here and all the time. If someone wants to contact you, what's the phone number? Uh, what is your phone number? Or how do we connect with you? Brilliant. Yeah, there you are. Absolutely. So, we just put this up on our screen. And if people have their own photographs yeah. and they want doing, we can do that for them as well. So we can put them onto mugs and things like that as well, yeah. Brilliant. Well, thanks a million, Claire, for Thank saying hello to us. No. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Are you getting peckish, Ray? I'm getting peckish. <laughs> I'm taking his eye out. again. It's a long time coming, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> right, on, where, where are we going oh, next? We've got a grub over here oh, with Angela. Oh. Ah, Beautiful. lovely. Homemade, organic veg. Look at this. Stuff. Does oh, anyone remember these ones? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. And lovely. Wow. Brilliant. So, tell us a little bit about what's going on here. This lady is busy, she's collecting money, which is a very important part of the market. Beautiful, organic. Oh, all business over here. Yeah. 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 Angela, how's it going? Uh, uh, this is some of the products that she's making, and that looks like black. Honey jam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I also have honey. 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 Is it your own honey, honey? What's up to bees, Annie? Do you have your own bees? Yep. Oh, look, Ochna Cliff honey. Where would you get, ladies and gentlemen, only at the butter market here in Granard? And there's a happy customer coming in there as well. And they have eggs, and she's up making cakes as well. Mm. Brilliant, brilliant. Absolutely, but it's great to see that everyone is busy here at the market. Hello, my dear, what's your name? Joe. Joe, and where are you from, Joe? What's this for? This is for, uh, this is for uh, promoting this area. This is for my fans. 
I'm a fan of his, of course. That, well, that'll do then. Yeah. Uh, are you involved in the market? No, I'm just a customer coming in to buy, to spend money. Very good. Yeah. And what will you buy today at the market, or what, what's what on your I mind? Bought, I bought from Angela Durkin here her bread, cabbage, over from Steve, this is from across the way, yeah. some paintings. Wow. Yeah, so I'm just Sweet. doing a little walk around. And did it on his helmet. There you are. Too big for no, me. No, sorry, excuse me, I want to qualify that. All I'm right, carrying my helmet here. <laughs> but I fitted it on. Excellent. Well, there you are, folks. We're having great fun here at the market. And uh, it's a lady here who has everything in this. Hello, my dear. How's it going? Good. Uh, I'm still licking my fingers after the honey. What have you got here? I have jewellery, I have jigsaws, and I do my own flowers. These are your own flowers? Yeah, and I recycled. These are chicken filler boxes. Ah. I recycled them. And as you can see in front, there's coffee and tea. I recycled them as well. Brilliant. And you're going to sell them as a, as all one yeah. for the day. And uh, how did you start them plants off? Did you start them off in seeds? Yeah, I'm in Fair four point. years doing them now. And uh, how did you get involved in in, um, in, in your own plants? We, did you like it for a long time or did you start only no, recently? No, I just didn't have green fingers. I just said one day I'm going to do something and this is what i done. And you said you hadn't green fingers? No, I never have. And now you have. <laughs> well, as I said, some people think that they don't have green fingers, but until they try, you've got loads of different things down here. What is this? It looks like um, mint, is it? That's uh, lavender. Ah, right, yeah. I tried a bit of lavender myself, and uh, I'm going to. Uh, we've done them in the seeds, and they're in the window, the sitting yeah. room at the moment, so they're going well. The only problem is, I hope I don't water them too much. No, don't water them too much. You'll kill them. Yeah, because they're flying, and I've loads of water underneath them. I think I might empty yeah. it out when I go home. What you'll do with them as well is give them a bit of tomato feed. Right. Any plants you set, put tomato feed, dilute it in the water. Okay. And put it on them, and it'll help them. Brilliant. And yeah. what's your name? Margaret. And if anyone wants to give you a buzz, will you give them your phone number? No. You're right. <laughs> Tell them they can come here to the market yeah. and meet you in person. Fair I'm play to you. I'm a big fan of Joe's Lord of Mercy. Go away. Yeah, I've always seen these. Really? And what, yeah. what was your favourite song of Uncle Joe's? Uh, Where are, you, are you from town, are you? No, I'm a Balanyan woman. Balanyan? Yeah, uh, Sister Mary was my favourite. Sister Mary. Sister Mary, can you tell me, is there and he was a lovely you? singer. He was amazing, and yeah. uh, I remember playing in Balignac myself with the show. That's where I'm from. <laughs> there you are now, simple. You never know who you'll meet at the, the butter market here in Granard. Look, thanks yeah. a million for signing along. You're welcome. Thank God you. God bless. So there you are, folks, coming to you live from the market here. And uh, we're going to head off now, and I think we've covered everything. What do you think, Deirdre? We just have uh, one more lady to yeah. meet, our Italian lady, because oh. we're international here. Very Raquel, good. down in the corner. Oh, oh, yes, an Italian woman. Woo! Hello, how are you doing? Hello, how are you getting on? I'm getting on well, thank you very much. Very good. Welcome. You... We are delighted to be invited and delighted to be here. What, what do you do, my dear? I do art, um, yeah. especially today I want to highlight the hand-painted T-shirts. Woo! Because I, we are trying to promote sustainable fashion. Right. In order to... A bit of fashion going on there in the background as well. Yeah, yeah. So those are hand-painted t-shirts and... Okay, oh, wow. Tell me, if I throw that in the washing machine, will that hand-painted t-shirt disappear? Uh, it's no problem with, that, with this, because oh. I don't this. Oh, I wash it... Yeah, 40, Excellent. 40 degrees, but I would suggest to hand wash it yeah. and not iron it on top. That's why I... I put a label on it and, uh, and tell me did you did you come from Italy this morning did, did I did you come to Granard from Italy this morning from Italy yeah where are you no, from I'm from Spain oh Spain a big part I'm coming from Arva we Arva. have an art studio in Arva right. and you are all more than welcome definitely to see our art we a... do art focused on sustainable and and upcycling and recycling so um, I do some bookmarkers for great idea very simple and uh, very effective into reading and and these those cards are Christmas cards that we have done last year for Pieta House so we oh. are doing charity art as well and it's Rachel D Raquel M designs oh, I beg your pardon I was just yeah. looking at the love I'm from Spain, from Córdoba, in the south. Yeah. Córdoba, in the south. 
Any Normans in Spain, no? No, no Normans. Yeah. No, not at the moment. Celtics in, in Galicia. Celtics in Galicia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, look, thank you very much. Thank you. And I love your hand. Is that your hand? David's grand is my grand Oh, wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you very much for thank that. Thank you. Uh, there we are, folks. We're going to head off now and uh, once again to our um, tour guides. If you see them around the town in Granard, wave to them and we'll say TikTok. hello. We'll do TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so there you are, folks. Thanks a million for looking in. Thank you for your time. And uh, as I said, we're having great fun here at the Butter Market in Granard. Even the birds are happy here. Lovely. So once again from Ray Dolan, from Mullingar, in Mullingar, but not exactly, we're at the Granard Farmer's Market, but it's not the Farmer's Market, it's called Granard Butter Market. Have a super day, talk to you soon. And we're going to be live at six o'clock as well today. We're going uh, singing, especially for the Ken Smullen Food Appeal. And if you want to make a donation, just go to multifarnhamcookeryschool.ie and uh, you can leave a donation there and we'll see you later on at around six o'clock we'll be going live on our channel and on the multi farnham cookery channel all for ken smullen food appeal and ken smullen is an absolute legend who helps uh, families get food in the midlands uh, you might not believe that there's a problem with food uh, for people in the midlands or anywhere but there's a lot of kids not going to school um, with a full belly they're so uh, if you can help them out in any way, we'd appreciate it. Bye for now and see you at six.